Yo, yo, what's good with y'all, man? Y'all know how to make a video out here in nature. All right, y'all already know the vibes, man. Beautiful day out, man. Beautiful day. Birds are chirping. You know, animals are out. You know, it just feels lively out here, man. You know, I recommend all y'all get into nature. Y'all get yourself around green, you know, grass. You know, get your, get your ass in the sun, man. Get you around some birds. You know, just feel connected. You know, feel connected around nature. Around, you know, God's creation. Because, you know, that's why it's here for us to be connected to the source. You know what I'm saying? So, look, this is the, this is the reason why I wanted to make this video. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all about productivity. Right? Now, listen, the key of semen retention, if you are beginning your semen retention journey... Um, listen, the key is, man, is to always stay productive. You always need to keep yourself busy doing something, uh, throughout your day. Because a lot of guys, they start retaining their seed. And, you know, they say they're going to start being more responsible with their energy, right? They're going to stop watching porn, they're going to stop masturbating, all that shit, but you see, if you're not, if you're not redirecting that sexual energy into your day, into your goals, and if you're just one of these people that's just laying down in the bed all day, doing nothing, sitting on your ass, watching Netflix all day, then, you know, nine times out of ten, you know, that procrastination is going to lead to an eventual relapse, Okay. If you are not productive throughout the day, you are you are going to relapse at some point because all that energy that you are building up, it's going to lead to you getting frustrated about, okay, I can't watch porn no more. I can't masturbate. You know what I'm saying? When you get to that, when you, when you get to a point of being horny and you're trying to be disciplined, but... You feel some type of way about holding in your sexual energy, you know, but you refuse to, you know, take action. You refuse to put yourself in a, in a more prominent position with this sexual energy, this life force. So what happens is you wind up getting sexually frustrated because you cannot go back to your lower self. You can't just hop on Instagram and look at these baddies all day. You can't just jerk off the porn. You can't just masturbate how like you used to back in the day. You, like you just can't do those things anymore because you're trying to grow. You're trying to level up. You're trying to be more, you're trying to get over those certain habits. But the whole point of getting over bad habits is to create better habits, is to create positive habits. So if you can't, so if you want to break a bad habit, you have to replace that bad habit, substitute it with a better, a better habit. You know what I'm saying? For example, y'all got to go out and walk out in nature, man. Find you a trail somewhere and just take a walk. Like just feel connected to what is around you. You know what I'm saying? Put an hour or two hours a day to work on your body. There's no reason why you can't just go to the gym at least two hours a day, four, five days a week, and, you know, lift some weights, you know, go on that treadmill, you know what I'm saying, work out, work out your muscles. There's no reason why you cannot, you cannot build muscle in your body. There's no reason why you can't, not, you cannot, um, you know, go to the gym, keep yourself fit, keep yourself active throughout the day, you know what I'm saying, have some projects to work on have some things to you know have some like responsibilities for yourself man because if you have no priorities you have no responsibilities you have nothing to do to do with your time you are going to relapse at some point it's going to happen you don't believe me you don't believe me well, well guess what have nothing to do for a whole freaking day don't go jogging don't go working out don't don't work on starting your business. No, don't go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Don't meet that cute girl at the at the at the fucking uh at the fucking mall. You know what I'm saying? 
Don't do nothing productive with your time throughout the whole day and see how you really feel. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, like for me, sometimes I have to like sit in a room and just like think. I just have to like sit there with my thoughts and like be, on, you know, like get into this like this mindfulness phase where I just don't say nothing. And I'm staring into the wall. I'm staring into the sky. I'm just... You know, let my thoughts, I'm let my thoughts marinate. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes that can help too, but you just mindfully, you mindfully just think and you mindfully just relax for a moment. You know what I'm saying? You gather yourself or, you know, work on meditation, yoga, you know, have a spiritual practice that you do throughout the day. You know, start adding more activities to your day. Start adding more hobbies. Maybe, uh, cook a different a different meal learn how to cook a different recipe you know what i'm saying learn to cook something brand new instead of ordering out instead of going to a fast food uh you know chain instead of going out you know dining out to a restaurant how about you learn some cooking skills and actually cook your own food for once that can really go a long way and to keep yourself productive um, another thing is to read your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have trouble with temptation and you have trouble breaking the earth, uh, you have trouble, you have trouble with urges, I'm trying to say. The spirit of temptation is trying to persuade you to get back into your lower self, to get back into your old negative habits of you watching porn, masturbating. You're going to have that one voice in your head. That little voice, that, that parasite in your, in, your, in your head telling you to go back to your lower self, right? And then you have, you have the other side of that voice. That other side of that voice is telling you to go for it. It's to keep yourself connected, keep yourself pushing forward and pushing yourself forward on this journey, right? That voice is telling you to go start that business that you, that you always want to start. Go get that dream job. You know what I'm saying? But if you do not, if you do not use your time wisely, you do not utilize your time wisely, you are going to fall down in this journey. You, you will relapse, bro. You will relapse. So, so, pro, so productivity, productivity is, is, is very important. It's key on semen retention. If there's anything that's, that's more prevalent on this retention journey it's being productive it's being productive not a lot of people are going to tell you that but this comes this comes hand in hand with sexual transmutation it comes with you know switching up your energy putting your energy into all of your goals all you know your life purpose all that you know what i'm saying When it comes to making money, when it comes to bettering your physical health, when it comes to, um, you know, just learn how to talk to different girls. You know what I'm saying? Learn, learn how to talk to different women, I should say. Not girls, but women. Um, just learning a new skill, learning a new trade. You know what I'm saying? Going back to school if you have to. You know, even just working a job can like, you know, I don't, I don't really recommend working a, a nine to five job but i mean when it comes to focus and when it comes to just being in a state of like busyness and not really thinking about porn and not thinking about sexual thoughts you know being at your job at a nine to five is definitely going to help you not to think about those things and not drive yourself into temptation you know what I'm saying? Because you're working, you're around different people that you can talk to. You're not alone, isolated in your home, right? So like, that's one of the few, that's like probably the only good thing about working a job is that you're around different people, right? And you get to actually interact with people and not, you know, not get yourself, you know, not be tempted by sexual thoughts and by your sexual impulses. So... Yeah, like I said, man, y'all just got to keep yourself busy. That's it. 
You know what I'm saying? You gotta just, you know, there's no, there's no really, there's no excuse, man. Like, there's no excuse to like not keep yourself busy. You cannot tell yourself, oh, I ain't got no time to go to the gym. You do got time to go to the gym. You, you, you do got time to learn a new skill. You do got time to cook a new meal. You do got time to work on your business. You have, you have all the time in the world. You have 24 hours in a day to work on yourself, to better your life, better your, better yourself as a man. Don't fucking tell yourself you ain't got no time because that's bullshit. That's a cop out. We, we, we have all the time in the world. We just don't want to do it because we're lazy. We're lazy minded. We're short sighted. And the thing is watching porn, masturbating is going to cause you to be lazy. It's going to cause you to be short sightedness. It's going to have you in this like isolation period where you don't want to be around nobody. You don't want to do much of anything. Your energy is zapped. Your energy is zapped because you wasted all your energy on trying to satisfy a short-term hunger, right? For, for pleasure. You let lust take over your entire mind. So y'all got to make a promise to yourself that you cannot let temptation, you cannot let lust control your mind or control your impulses. So with that being said, man, make sure y'all like the video so the algorithm promotes my video so it recommends it to everybody around. Everybody can see the video. Hope this video helped anybody that's new onto this journey of retention and make sure you like, subscribe and share the video. Comment down and comment down below what you uh, on your opinion on, you know, what day you're on or whatever or how well you're doing on this journey. You know, just give me your thoughts down below. And um yeah, more videos are to come. And um you know, once again, man, like get yourself out here, bro. Get yourself out around nature, connect yourself. Connect yourself back to the source, man. So with that being said, man, this is Mr. Solo Dolo, the Black Sheep, and I'm out, man. Peace.